ஐ எம் டாக்டர் எம் தனலக்ஷ்மி ஹெட் அண்ட் அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி வி வி வன்னியப்பெருமாள் காலேஜ் ஃபார் விமன் விருதுநகர் இன் திஸ் மாடல் ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் பான் ஹேபர் சைக்கிள் பான் ஹேபர் சைக்கிளை பற்றி நம்ம பேசுறதுக்கு முன்னாடி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ நோ அபவுட் லேட்டஸ்ட் எனர்ஜி வாட் இஸ் லேட்டஸ்ட் எனர்ஜி லேட்டஸ்ட் எனர்ஜி இஸ் டிஃபைன்ட் அஸ் த energy released when one mole of an ionic crystal is formed from its constituent gaseous ions m plus gaseous plus x minus gaseous ion gives mx solid form plus u0 u0 is the lattice energy the experimental values of lattice energy or obtained from the cycle of thermochemical data this is known as born haber cycle it relates the lattice energy of an ionic crystal to other thermochemical data such as ionization energy sublimation energy dissociation energy etc the formation of sodium chloride ionic crystal in a single step sodium solid form plus half cl2 gaseous form with the formation of sodium chloride crystal solid so the formation of sodium chloride crystal in a single step process so in this single step process it can be the formation of ionic crystal this can take place in a number of steps also the first step conversion of metallic sodium into gaseous sodium atoms sodium solid form gives sodium gaseous form so it undergoes sublimation reaction for that reaction the energy is required for that sublimation of metallic sodium so therefore the values obtained is taken as positive quantity it is an endothermic reaction delta h is equal to s s is sublimation energy second step dissociation of chlorine molecules into chlorine atoms half cl2 gaseous form gives cl gaseous atoms delta h equal to half dissociation d equal to dissociation energy it is an endothermic process for that process the energy is required so the values obtained in that process is taken as positive quantity third step conversion of gaseous sodium atom into gaseous sodium ion na gaseous form gives na plus gaseous plus electron one of the electron is removed from the gaseous sodium atom for that removal of electron from that gaseous sodium atom the energy is required for that process it is an endothermic process therefore the value obtained in that process is taken as positive quantity delta h equal to i i is an ionization energy fourth step conversion of gaseous chlorine atom into gaseous chloride ion cl gaseous form plus electron gives cl minus gaseous gaseous chlorine atom accept one of the electron it forms a chloride ion delta h for that reaction is minus a this reaction for that reaction the energy is released from that process it is an exothermic reaction so therefore the value obtained in that process is taken as negative quantity fifth step formation of 
sodium chloride crystal from gaseous sodium ion and chloride ion na plus gaseous form plus cl minus gaseous form gives na cl solid crystal delta h for that reaction is equal to minus u0 the formation of sodium chloride crystal in that process is an exothermic process the energy is needed for that reaction so it is taken as the value obtained in that reaction is taken as negative quantity applying kessel's law of constant heat summation u0 lattice energy is equal to e plus s plus half dissociation plus ionization energy minus electron affinity in that formation of ionic crystal that process involved in one step process the energy released is equal to that of the ionic crystal formed in multi step process bond haber cycle for the tabau changes is sodium solid crystal it combines with the chlorine molecule gaseous form it forms a sodium chloride solid crystal so this is a single step process that process which may take place in several steps the first step involved is sodium solid it forms a sodium gaseous atom it is a sublimation process sodium then chlorine molecule dissociate to give the chlorine gaseous form this process is called dissociation and then sodium gaseous atom is converted into gaseous form of sodium ion the process is called ionization process chlorine gaseous form it forms a chloride ion so the sodium ion chloride ion combines together to form the sodium chloride crystal so this is a multi step process so in this process so the one mole of ionic crystal formed in a single step process or otherwise the one mole of ionic crystal formed in multi step process the energy released is equal importance of bond haber cycle it is used to determine the lattice energy of ionic crystal second it is used to determine the electron affinities of elements it also helps to compare the stabilities of ionic crystal thank you